I just kept overthinking. <laughs> I expected to lose first round because I just got scammed by a motorcycle driver. <gasps> You're such know. a cheater! Someone stole my slides. I was gonna give it some ASMR, but Good morning guys, or I mean good afternoon. Today is game day. This morning I went to warm up with Rachel because her match was this morning and I play in the afternoon. I kind of rallied with her and then I stretched a little bit and then I came back and ate lunch and then I rested and now I am about to head to the venue. I play against a player from Indonesia. I watched a game yesterday. She's like a runner, has some nice drop shots from the back. Hopefully I'm able to keep up with her. I just need to calm my mind and just play normally because just now, oh my god, when I was trying to rest and take a nap, I just kept overthinking. Like My mind just kept wandering everywhere. And I just feel like that's my issue right now. That's the reason why I can't perform at my tournaments because I just keep overthinking everything and just putting too much pressure on myself. I just need to relax and pretend I'm just playing like my coach at training and literally just like relax and just have fun, which is easier said than done. So I'm just gonna try my best and hopefully it goes well. I really hope that I can just play normally today. So that's the goal. I guess I'll update you guys later tonight. Wish me luck.
Oh my god guys guess what i won oh my god i can't believe i won literally i feel like my tournament results as i've said before many times my tournament results have been so 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 bad and i just won my first round and i'm so 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 happy and my mom is so 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 happy for me too like she's the first one who texted me she's the first one who called me or actually i called her and i was like so happy Guys, I'm so proud of myself. If I'm being 100% honest, I expected to lose first round because my tournament results have just been really bad. I know this is a bad mindset, but if I'm being 110% honest, I thought I was gonna lose first round, but I didn't, so I'm so happy. I won in three sets. The first game was 22-20, and then I lost the second game, 19-21, and then I won the third, 21-10. I think she felt tired in the third, kind of felt like she gave up, which made my, my life easier. In the first game, I was losing. I think I was losing 18-20, and then I came back and I won 22-20, I was like so stressed. I was like, please, just play one point at a time. And I feel like I noticed that like sometimes throughout the game, I just lose focus and then I make dumb mistakes. So I really need to like cut down on those and stay focused. What's something else that I noticed? I learned two main things from this match. So the first thing is, a lot of the times when I play singles, I feel like I don't have enough time. And I feel like I'm slow. Why am I always late? I feel like I'm always reaching for the bird. But my physical is good. Like when I do running, skipping, footwork, anything like i compare it to the other girls at my level and it's good i have good physical but why am i always late on the court well it's because of me it's because of my shots a lot of times i really like using my punch clears and yes they're good they're good to get your opponent in a bad position you put pressure on them so the next shot will be easier for you to attack but if i keep using them and they're too flat i don't have enough time to go back to the middle or get ready for the next shot so then the next shot, I end up being in a bad position. So in my game, I felt like that today. So then I was like, okay, let me just clear higher. And I did that and it worked. I literally won so many points after I started clearing higher because when I clear higher, she also needs to wait for the bird to come down before she hits. She can't like fly up there and hit it, right? So she also needs to wait for the bird to come down to hit and I have time to get back to the middle, get ready for the next shot. So I'm in a better position. Also, I don't need to worry about hitting upwards and not being able to defend because I know my defense is good. And as long as my bird is at the baseline and I have enough time to get back to the middle, I can defend anything. And then the second thing that I learned today that was really important is Ooh. Okay, so in the second game, I lost a lot of points because basically she would clear to my forehand side and then I would be late. So then I'd hit a transition shot kind of straight but towards the middle. So it's at her backhand. And a lot of the shots, she pushed to my overhead side or she net crossed and she would mix those two shots up. In my head, I realized I was like, oh, that makes sense because if someone hit a transition shot to me in the middle, I would hit cross also because it's following the direction of my hand, if that makes sense. I would probably not turn my racket to hit back to my opponent's forehand side again. I don't know if this is making sense, but it's kind of hard to explain because I'm not on the court. The most comfortable, logical shot I would hit would be hit cross because my arm is already going in this direction. So when I hit this transition shot, I should get ready for my overhead side or my backhand front corner because I should put myself in my opponent's position and be like, oh, if my opponent hit that shot to me, what would I hit? Rachel? Oh, I'm vlogging. I'm gonna tell your vlog a funny story that just happened just now. Okay, tell them. I just got scammed by a motorcycle driver. Why? He came in and he told me to buy a drink for him. Ah, what? Straight up. And then what did you say? I was like, how much for the ride? And then what did he say? He was like, and the and a car was sixty five. <gasps> so and you got it for him? Yeah. What the hell? Because, what what can I say? You no. say no, just give him thirty. I know. I was like, no, I'm not paying for anything. Just the, just this. No way. Okay. 
That's kind of crazy. Dude. I know. You need to stand your ground. I should have yelled at your name to help me. Yeah, you should have. I would have been like, no, bro. Like, just take your 20, 30 bot and right, leave. We're not right. buying you a drink, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go down right now and get my money back. Seriously? He's probably still downstairs. Seriously? But you bought him a drink, no? Yeah. How are you going to get your money back? You can't. <laughs> Ask him to pay himself. And <laughs> that was eventful. Yeah. I'm playing a Thai player tomorrow. The girl that beat um, Lin Xiang Ti. Uh, and we both bet on Lin Xiang Ti. <laughs> Excuse me, actually, you owe me now. Mm mm. Yeah. Mm mm. Yeah. You said you you're such a one. cheater. You're like, let me bet first. I bet Taiwan. And then I was like, oh, I would have bet Taiwan. Yeah, but then you but never But then you already bet Taiwan. You're like, let me bet first. So, too bad. That automatically means I no! get the other person. How can we both think about the same person when you're betting so against then, so me? So then no bet then, if we both choose the same person, right? Right? No! Right? Yeah. If she bets on one person and says I have first pick to bet on one person, and she picks that person, then I get the other person. But you didn't say, okay fine, I'll take the other person. You just said, oh, I would choose Taipei too. <laughs> so no deal! No. Case closed. <laughs> no. Well, I hope I win tomorrow. <laughs> this girl just dropped an Oreo on the floor. And she said that the ants are gonna carry the whole Oreo okay. back up to their nest. <laughs> You're gonna see this? Oh no! Okay, <laughs> it's a circular yeah, Oreo. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, I searched up how ants communicate. Oh wow! <laughs> Through pheromones. Let me read it. Scientists have known for decades that ants use a variety of small chemicals known as pheromones to communicate. Perhaps the most classic example is a trail of pheromones. The insects place. What is it true? Oh. The most classic example is a trail of pheromones that insects place as they walk. Those behind them follow this trail, leading to long lines of ants marching one by one. Interesting. The more you know. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys that someone stole my slides. Actually, they're not my slides, they're my uncle's slides. So I think I'm gonna have to buy another pair for him. But they're just Nike slides. But still, why would someone steal my slides? And they couldn't have taken it by accident because I literally put my Yonix pink shoe bag on top of my slides. But yeah, someone stole my slides, guys. So I had to walk back in my badminton shoes looking like an idiot. What are you doing? I was gonna give it some ASMR, oh, but then for it. I didn't want a close up on my face. Okay, fine, go. It's on my face. Okay, that's enough. Thank you so much. That was good, right? I don't know if it picked it up, but you guys let me know, I guess, <laughs> in the comments down below. If you guys would like more Rachel ASMR content, then let me know in the comments and I will I'll do- I'll make a channel. Yeah, she'll make a channel, just ASMR and Oreos. Oreo ASMR. Think of one million ways to do Oreo ASMR. Okay. okay, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to tell you guys someone stole my slides and this became a three minute clip. Okay, bye.